I'm the theologian for the Roman Catholic Archdiocese in Regina, Saskatchewan, and I've been working with Catholic teachers since I was in grad school. Out of that work grew this book, which has now led me to be traveling to places like Lansing to talk to Catholic educators. I start my presentations in my book with this question, what are people for? Whatever you think your education is for, your answer to the question like, why should kids go to school, is actually an answer to the question, what are people for? So if you think they should go to school to get skills for a job market, you've just told them what their life is all about. But that's a secondary good. We're actually not gonna be satisfied with any earthly goods. We're made for something higher than that. And the earthly goods find their proper proportion when we see that people are made for God. Your engagement with the world through a practice like math says something about your eternal destiny. You're the kind of creature that engages with reality in this way. Communicating through all of the different material we're responsible for, the sort of final end, the thing that the human person is made for and the only thing that will finally satisfy us is God. And this doesn't take the rightful place of earthly goods. We do seek earthly goods in education, but it puts them in the right proportion. And it means they can serve a good human life rather than becoming the final goal that will never satisfy us. If we cultivate a culture in our schools where big picture questions are welcome and engaged, we're gonna find that doing this is actually easier than we thought. Well, it's certainly very engaging content to think about all of these different subjects of school and how you could invite your kids to ask those big life questions. I was just teaching the high school uh, freshman theology, um, no, freshman science class, and we were touching on some of these things, and it, it just reminds me how these students are capable of thinking about these things deeply if you just kind of invite them into that. And it can lead to some really powerful conversations, things that might really change the way they're looking at their whole life and their future, and how God really wants to be a part of how they understand the world. So it's cool to see that our whole diocese is moving in this direction. I thought today was wonderful, it was fulfilling, it was honest, it was authentic, and it gives me a lot of uh, information that I can take back to my teachers and, and talk to them about this. I'm really excited to get into the book more.